despite the fact that President Donald Trump ended up caving on his demand to increase the stimulus payments to all eligible Americans to about $2,000 a person, that is up from $600 in return for signing the stimulus slash omnibus bill, it appears that Congress is still going to come back today, actually, to vote for an increase. Uh, and there's some bipartisan support here, so I wouldn't get too hopeful, but there's a little bit of hope, tiny, tiny bit. Uh, and so we'll, we'll, we're going to have to see. All right, so let, let's uh, let's get into it. Now, according to different sources, uh, Trump, and we know this, it's a timeline of events uh, in which Donald Trump first criticized the $900 billion bipartisan bill. I, I criticized it as well, as well as the uh, $1.4 trillion omnibus spending bill. So now this is after both chambers of Congress uh, did this, did this quote unquote bipartisan compromise in which, look, nobody got what they wanted <laughs> except for Mitch McConnell, essentially. Uh, Mitch McConnell still got almost everything he wanted except for corporate liability, which was one of the big things that he was going for. Uh, now, that said, uh, the, the Democrats did not get $1,200 stimulus checks. Uh, they didn't get $600 unemployment. They gave up a lot. Uh, and that just shows that the Democrats never negotiate from a strengthened position. They always negotiate from a, from a weaker position um, because they suck at negotiation, but also because Mitch McConnell is actually a lot better at negotiation as well. Uh, and besides, Mitch McConnell has no qualms, no scruples, about holding the American people hostage. Now, we've seen this ever since I started politics. Ever since I started covering politics, Mitch McConnell's had the same MO. Hold people hostage in order to get the shit that he wants, which normally, again, hurts the American people. So, all right, anyway, all that, all that we know. So now, the president uh, opposed this deal. He called it a disgrace. I showed you the video uh, for only including that $600 in direct payments. He's, here's what he said, quote, I simply want to get our great people $2,000. Well, did he do that? No, he did not. <laughs> uh, now, Democrats, Democratic Party did seize on this a little bit. Uh, so you had, you had Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, AOC, Elhan Omar, uh, and, and many others, right, uh, that have decided to call uh, Donald Trump on his bluff. And they did. And then when even when Donald Trump backed down, they're saying, no, we're going to continue to push this. In fact, uh, Nancy Pelosi had a unanimous consent vote. That failed on Friday. And now she's doing she's doing another parliamentary trick. Uh, and what that is, uh, is that she is um, calling for an immediate vote, not a voice vote, but a normal vote, um, which would require two-thirds of the chamber to win. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to, to pass it in order for this to pass through to the Senate. Now, the thing about that is, oh, is that a bad strategy? because you might have more Democrats uh, as well as all Republicans, because you're going to need Republican votes on that to get this through the House. Now, the reason that she did that is that it, it, it moves the vote up sooner, right? Uh, at least that's, that's, that's what her um, motivation is, uh, from as far as I can tell, uh, anyway. And, and again, I'm trying to be the most fair that I can uh, here on this. And not like go into saying, oh, yeah, she wants it to fail. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know that. I don't know Nancy Pelosi. Uh, and so that, I mean, is that, that vote's going to be held today. And so, okay. Now, absent here is, is somebody who's really important. Uh, and that's Joe Biden. Where's Joe Biden? Where's Joe Biden? Where is he? Oh, right. Uh, Joe Biden is actually responsible for pushing for lower payments. Or, uh, this is according to a report in the Daily Poster by David Sirota, uh, Andrew Perez, and I believe Walker Bragman. Uh, they analyzed a report from the New York Times in which Joe Biden, in the midst of the negotiations on December 2nd, went and threw his support between, uh, behind the $900 billion plan that was being pushed by the centrists, you know, people like um, uh, uh, Joe Manchin, right? Who thought the $2,000 was probably too much, uh, or $1,200 was too much. Uh, Biden also cost the pro uh, called the process of negotiating a bill, quote, a model for the challenging work ahead for our nation. Okay, so wait. Uh, now, folding on Republican demands uh, during, uh, in, during the negotiation, um, during the financial crisis of the century, is somehow a model for 
the nation of how things are supposed to work. No, 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 that's, that's terrible. Uh, and so Joe Biden, what are you doing, dude? I know, I know. He came out recently and said, well, I'm never going to embarrass Republicans. Isn't it so great that we have a, uh, a moderate, uh, a, a centrist uh, Republican as president now, uh, as opposed to crazy Republican Donald Trump? I mean, essentially, right? This is essentially the same thing. Uh, all right. So anyway, I should just now refer to uh, Joe Biden as basically a Republican uh, because he is just not one of the insane people. He's like one of those people who are uh, 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 the, the Republicans from the, he's like a 1980s Republican, essentially, who's okay with gay people. Uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, so now that said, uh, Donald Trump has been pushing $2,000 checks. He's still talking about $2,000 checks. And so as a result of that, you've had some Republicans that did flip on this. Uh, in fact, the president said some Republic, uh, Republicans have agreed to a new vote on $2,000 stimulus checks. Uh, on Monday, the House will vote to increase payments to individuals from $600 to $2,000. He wrote in a statement announcing his decision. Therefore, he said a family of four would receive about $5,200. That's good. So now, again, Republicans voted against unanimous consent in the House. It only took one Republican to crush that vote. Uh, so now... As I said, the other way that they're getting this to work would require two uh, two thirds of the House. Uh, it, it expedites the vote, and so it makes it very immediate. Uh, but at the same time, you actually need Republicans to cross over. So now, you don't need that many Republicans to cross over, but just enough of them to make two thirds. Uh, so now, that said, is it expected to pass the House? I would think so. Um. But here's the thing, okay, Republicans along with this, there are some Republicans that are like, okay, $2,000 checks, but we're going to add something into it. Now, this is not part of the legislation that is being pushed on the floor by Nancy Pelosi. This is a standalone bill that she's saying. She All she's putting on the floor is let's get clean $2,000 checks. The amendment is already written, okay? Uh, and so it, it's ready to go. It is a standalone piece of legislation, and they're going to vote on it. They're not tacking anything onto that. So that's good. All we were asking for was a clean bill. Uh, and it looks like we're going to get that. All right? Um, there, but there are Republicans that want to add to it. Now, what would they want to add to it? Well, it's something that Donald Trump really wants. Uh, and that is getting rid of Section 230. All right. Now, Section 230, Telecommunications Act of 1996, uh, is basically a, li a liability shield that protects social media companies when, uh, you know, for being held liable for the things that its users say. Okay. So I think generally, you know, this is a good thing. I, I don't think Twitter should be held liable for my tweets calling, uh, you know, Louis Gomer to fuck base. All right. Why? Because I'm calling him a fuckface. Twitter's not calling him a fuckface. So why should Twitter be held liable if, you know, Louis Gomer gets offended because I called him a fuckface? Because he's a fuckface. Uh, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. So why would you want to get rid of Section 230? Well, there's a few reasons why somebody would want to. For one, politicians. They don't like it when somebody calls them a fuckface. I know, right? Uh, they're scared of people being... Like, there are Republicans right now that are scared of Donald Trump speaking out and tweeting against them, right? Because then they're going to get all the MAGA followers that are going to rip them to shreds in the comment section, right? And, and, and tweet quote tweets and tweet replies and all that stuff. They don't want that. But there are also Republicans that are afraid of people like AOC for the same reason. Uh, and so these politicians, a lot of these politicians are really afraid. And it's not just Republicans. It's Democratic politicians as well. The establishment... Uh, they really don't like how people on social media can hold them accountable. And so if you eliminate Section 230, well, then Twitter's going to be like, oh, I got to remove things that offend people because then I don't want to be held liable for, you know, this congressman, this very powerful official being offended by a user on my site. So we're going to clean that up. We're going to kick everybody out, both right and left, by the way. 
uh, this is not this is going to be anyone who raises a stink. So the rights obviously you're going to get the boot the first, right? They're going to get the boot first, and then of course lefties who call out the system, who call out politicians, they're also going to get the boot. And what we're going to have uh, at the end of the day is a 100% completely sanitized internet where nobody can say anything that could be offensive at all. So no, that's that's not good. That's really, really, really bad. A discourse online would be devastated. And again, do you think Twitter wants any of us online who call it politics? No. No, they want to bring it back to where politics... Because, like, this is the, the thing that blows my mind is since I'm on political Twitter, all right, that's all I see. That's, that's my entire sphere. Political Twitter is actually a really, really small part of Twitter. But the rest of it is like food pics. Oh, well, okay, maybe I'm thinking of Instagram on that. Uh, but it's like food uh, food pics, like random musings, you know, it, inconsequential stuff. All right, all right. That's, I mean, it's a very small part. So if Twitter could get rid of that, or, you know, if Facebook could get rid of those comment sections uh, under, under news articles, for example, then, well, they would love to do that. And so it, it, it really, getting rid of Section 230 would be a way for them to really chill discourse uh, online. And that would also prevent me from, and, and prevent all of us, I think, from publicly redressing our grievances, uh, which, I, I, which is a right under the First Amendment, by the way, uh, where we can redress our grievances to the government that doesn't represent us. And so Section 230, I think getting rid of that will also be considered unconstitutional. Uh, in my opinion. So, anyway. Uh, all right. So now, um, now Republicans that are in favor of this, uh, people like Lindsey Graham, okay? Lindsey Graham says, oh yeah, let's get rid of Section 230, and by the way, we'll give $2,000 checks. Oh, that's a poison pill. There's no way. Mm -mm, mm, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, that said, there are other Republicans who just support the Cash Act. Uh, and this is, strangely enough, and I go after centrists all the time, okay? Uh, you, like, you know this from my show, if you've watched it at all. I go after the centrists, uh, the problem solvers, right? I think problem solvers suck. They don't solve any problems because all they do is put forward half measures and Republican talking points. That said, Representative Tom Reed, the, uh, the problem solvers co-chair, he said he's going to vote in favor. He's a Republican from New York. He's going to vote in favor of the uh, of the Cash Act, that standalone two thousand dollar bill. Here's 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 what he said uh, in a statement. Uh, "Quote: The American people are hurting. Economic stagnation and lockdowns have left many in difficult financial uh, situations. I've communicated to the president my support for his directive to increase the total size of stimulus checks." to $2,000 per individual, and we'll be voting in favor of the Cash Act tomorrow to do so. It is only fair that we act decisively now to deliver the, uh, to deliver the comprehensive aid, relief, uh, I'm sorry, relief individuals desperately need. So there's that. Pelosi also has a statement on this. Uh, the president must immediately call on congressional Republicans to end their obstruction and to join him and Democrats in support of our standalone legislation to increase direct payment checks to $2,000, which we brought to the floor. The legislation signed tonight, because uh, uh, she was tweeting this on Sunday night, is a down payment on what needs to uh, what is needed to crush the virus, put money in Americans' pockets, and honor our heroes. We must quickly take further action to help Americans struggling to stay afloat during this historic pandemic and economic crisis. Okay, good. I mean, I don't have any problem with any of those statements. True, great. Uh, so you've got the problem solvers on board. You got Nancy Pelosi who's pushing this. Uh, you got Chuck Schumer in the Senate. Ah, Senate. Ah, that, that that's the problem. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. He is not. He so far hasn't said anything about this. Is he going to support this? I think he's going to block it. I think that's. I think it's almost a guarantee that he is going to block this. Um, at least without some sort of ghoulish measure added in by the Senate that would completely wreck the thing. 
again, section 230 is a great example of how Mitch McConnell could tank this entire thing. Uh, and so, because Mitch McConnell can't stand the idea of poor people getting money. So, yeah, yeah, you know what? Another one of you uh, just brought up uh, in the chat here, um, corporate liability. Okay, we'll give you $2,000, but you got to give us corporate liability shield. That would immediately wreck negotiations. Would I put it past McConnell to do something like that? Nope, I would not. He is more than happy to do that. Um, but then again, there, there is a little piece of ledger, leverage, and I really want to see Democrats really push hard on this uh, because the control of, uh, of the Senate is in the balance. You have John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock who are running in the special election in Georgia, or I'm sorry, not special, the runoff election in Georgia on January 5th. That's coming up. Uh, and that, again, would make a 50-50 Senate with Kamala Harris's tiebreaker. Uh, and so that would neuter Mitch McConnell and his ability to block things, um, at least by, you know, simple majority. And so Mitch McConnell wants to keep control of the Senate. If he thinks that it's politically advantageous to let this go through, then there's a possibility that we could end up getting it. The thing is, I don't know the political calculations. I'm not inside the GOP or the Republican Party. I don't know the polls inside the internal polls uh, of Ossoff and Warnock or, or Loeffler and Purdue, who, by the way, do not support $2,000 checks. And so where's that political calculation? I have no idea where that's going to end up. Uh, what I do know is that politically, Mitch McConnell's not stupid. He is a Machiavellian genius. And so he is going to do things that are going to benefit himself, his power, and his party going forward. That Now, if that means breaking with Donald Trump, then that's what he's going to do. If that means supporting $2,000 a month, that's possibly what he could do. So I don't know. If it also means poison pilling this or attempting to uh, with you know liability shields or, or repealing Section 230, then that's what he would do if it's in his personal political uh, interests. And so I don't know what is going to happen here. Uh, it, it, it really is, uh, I think, in my, in my opinion, a, a bit of a wild card what's going to happen uh, with this vote. I just hope, 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 beyond hope, uh, that we can get we can get this done. That you know the House can pass this uh, today, and and the Senate doesn't add any garbage into it, uh, and just passes a clean bill. I know I know it's a lot to hope for, but we really do live in unprecedented times. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's Patreon.com/slash Jeff Waldorf or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.